Hello, this is Jessica. This is Rachel. And we are presenting our literacy lesson plan. Let me share my screen. Okay, so this is our lesson plan by Lorena, Jessica, and Rachel. And we are doing for kindergarten. And our lesson will be 15 to 20 minutes long. Our subject is Earth System Science and our central focus is local weather patterns. This way, students can connect clearly with this topic, which is universal. And then here are our learning standards, which um, connect to our lesson. And then here is our learning targets, our content targets. It would be the students will be able to describe weather. Students will be able to count the number, the numbers of the patterns that we're going to be graphing. Students will be able to collect, record, and share observations about patterns in scientific ways. And then here's our language targets. Students will be able to draw pictures and display what they drew based on the checklist that we have for them daily to fill out while they do their journals. And this is our success criteria. Our essential question is what is weather and what patterns do we see? For diagnostic, we, we will be starting with an inquiry chart. This way children are sharing their own perspectives of weather. And then here we have what we're going to be doing. And then this way, and then we're going to start for our formative. We'll be doing the science notebook journal page. We'll be practicing our pocket charts. This is the weather, um, the weather journal they're going to be filling out daily. And this is the checklist. This will be used daily. And then here we have our, we're looking for patterns. This is what we're gonna be doing in a group. So the teacher is going to be modeling how to do a report. And then we're going to be starting to do a song at the beginning and then the children will start graphing. The, the students learn in auditory ways by hearing the words and hearing what the teacher's modeling and then they're able to hear the weather songs and connect with the lesson that way. And then here we have our monthly weather. This is how they're going to be graphing. Students will be using critical thinking. And then there we go, Rachel. All right. So for summative, they will begin to work independently. So for a while during this presentation, their 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 whole focus is on the topic of weather, but this can continue throughout the year. They can uh, independently graph and record their observations at the, as a daily routine, and then um, collect that information within a journal. Here's a rubric that can be used by the teacher several times throughout the year to meet with them in their journals and just watch the progress of their ability to draw pictures about weather, their uh, attempts at using uh, letters, are they uh, learning to actually write about weather? If not, there's also a section for dictation. Um, the beginning, they may prefer to just dictate what they know, and then hopefully throughout the year, see a transition into writing. Uh, they, the, another part of that summative is a gallery walk where students will take turns presenting their work while others walk around and see the presentations and then um, they swap and take different turns. That's our third example of cooperative learning. In, within this lesson, we had think, pair, and share during the inquiry, which is a cooperative learning strategy. And then we have a round table where um, when we're presenting a book about weather, the vocabulary word for the weather, a student's roundtable share, which is another way to help students learn English 
and uh, scaffold visually, visual learning. Next we have, uh, oops, could you scroll up just a little bit to diverse, there it is, strategies for diverse learners. So there we have the think, pair, share. Uh, there's some other strategies you could also use if you feel like you need to spend more time talking about the vocabulary um, and, and the nouns and adjectives of the vocabulary that I feel the rain, it is rainy. So the difference between noun and adverbs, you can spend some time on that. You could also help out someone who's struggling by color coding the nouns and adjectives where nouns are colored red, adjectives are colored blue. For exceptional learners, you could include some additional writing activities such as having them write a narrative, maybe writing a story about one time when it was raining and what happened, what was the effect of that rain. Uh, for culturally responsive teaching, we want to um, include pictures along with the vocabulary and we can also translate materials into home language, especially things that we send home. Here's a list of all the materials that we need and some pictures to help clearly identify them. Technology needed, a, a document reader can be helpful to make sure we're projecting items so that the whole class can see. When it comes to lesson vocabulary, we wanna be sure that we're using many, many, many different words that relate to weather, um, really increase their vocabulary and so that when they think about weather, they don't just think about those common words, rain, snow, wind, things like that, but, but many other words that describe weather. To wrap up the, the lesson, we can use sentence frames and a pocket chart where we're, again, it's a literacy lesson, so we're using a lot of words about weather. They, um, and periodically, it's, again, it's important to meet with their journals. You can even have them present the journals at an author's circle. And end of the year, students can take their journals home. Here's some ideas for extending uh, this lesson. You can read some picture books about weather, tell weather stories, make a weather book, um, read more about weather as it relates to cause and effect. How does weather affect things? This lesson is mostly targeted on the learning outcome that students can draw a picture about weather and describe it and that they can notice patterns. So the purpose of graphing is so that they can see those patterns and then can be asked to problem solve a mathematical question such as how many days was it snowy? How many days was it cloudy? Comparing two months, which, which month had more, which one had less, word problems like that. Here is a way to connect with home, sending home a classroom newsletter, letting families know that we're learning about weather, include the weather song so that families can support the learning at home by singing the song with them. We also thought that perhaps over spring break and winter break when students aren't in the class, they could be sent home some data sheets to collect the weather data from home and then bring it back to class so that they're continuing that daily routine. There we go. So as you can see, our, again, that our learning targets were, our, our academic learning standard, it's the earth science standard for kindergarten, which says that students can use and share observations of local weather. They can use it, they can observe it and they can describe the patterns they're seeing over time. Because this standard says over time, we felt like this lesson needed to be done over time. And so this is something you can do in your classroom all year long, but devote a period of time, a few weeks or a month to the weather and then make it a daily routine the rest of the year. The other standards that this lesson supports are some kindergarten writing, speaking, and language standards, as well as some common core kindergarten math that involve writing about um, counting 
um, numbers, answering the questions of how many, and then comparing greater, less than equal, which they'll be doing. And then the English language proficiency, the ELP standards are also um, taking place within this lesson. And these are happening all year long. So as you can see, the, this lesson has learning outcomes that are clear and it correlates well with those standards. And we really feel like this will motivate kindergartners to learn about whether that um, this procedure, it definitely correlates with science standards. It's well paced, it's got a good sequence, a lot of modeling. You'll see te the teacher modeling, demonstrating, allowing students to help, and then um, bringing the students into independent work. The students get feedback. They get feedback periodically by meeting with the teacher to, to um, show, show their journal entries and the teacher can fill out a rubric to add to their assessment portfolio. Uh, there's definitely a variety of assessments. The students are, are, are using an inquiry chart. They're doing self-assessments, which can also be converted to a peer assessment and the teacher's journal assessment, as well as the fact that the journal is a summative assessment. This definitely has a lot of building on previous learning and it immerses the students into this topic of weather. So that's it. I hope um, you enjoyed hearing about our lesson, our literacy lesson, focusing on science. Yes, thank you.